John was a time traveler. He had always dreamed of changing the past, preventing tragedies from occurring and saving lives. He had studied history and science extensively, and he knew that time travel was a risky endeavor. But he believed that his knowledge and skills could make a difference. One day, John decided to go back in time to prevent the assassination of President Kennedy. He had read countless books and articles about the event and was convinced that if he could just stop Lee Harvey Oswald, he could change the course of history for the better. John arrived in Dallas, Texas on November 21, 1963, a day before the assassination. He spent hours exploring the city, observing the people, and studying the layout of Dealey Plaza. He wanted to be prepared for any eventuality. On November 22, John was in Dealey Plaza, waiting for Oswald to appear. He had a clear shot at him and was ready to take him down. But just as he was about to pull the trigger, he heard a strange noise behind him. He turned around and saw a group of men in suits and sunglasses approaching him. Sir, we need you to come with us, one of them said. John realized that he had been caught by the government. They knew about his time travel and had been tracking him. They didn't want him to change the course of history. John was taken to a secret facility and interrogated for hours. He was asked about his motives, his knowledge, and his abilities. But John refused to reveal anything. He was determined to change the past and make a difference. Finally, the government agents had had enough. They released John and gave him a warning. They told him that he was not allowed to interfere with the course of history and that any attempt to do so would be met with severe consequences. John was devastated. He had failed to prevent the assassination of President Kennedy, and he had been caught by the government. But he was not willing to give up. He knew that he had to try again, to find another way to change the past. A few days later, John traveled back to the present. But he was shocked to find that the world had changed. The United States was no longer a superpower. The Soviet Union had won the Cold War, and the world was ruled by a totalitarian regime. John realized that his actions in the past had unintentionally created this alternate reality. By trying to prevent the assassination of President Kennedy, he had disrupted the balance of power and triggered a chain reaction that led to a catastrophic outcome. John was devastated. He had thought that his intentions were pure, that he could make a difference. But he had learned a hard lesson. Sometimes, the best intentions can have the worst consequences. From that day on, John gave up time travel. He realized that the past was not to be tampered with, that history was a delicate balance that could easily be disrupted. He learned to accept the past for what it was and to focus on making a positive impact in the present. In the end, John realized that he had been blinded by his desire to change the past. He had failed to see the bigger picture to understand the complex web of cause and effect that governed the course of history. But he had learned a valuable lesson, one that he would never forget. The lesson was simple. Sometimes, the best intentions can have the worst consequences.